welcome to my G-Free self-care segment. Now this segment is all about taking care of yourself and feeling good and part of that is skincare and part of that is just relaxing. I was mentioning to someone yesterday that um, I make candles because I think it was Chrissy Bouge. She was saying she bought this candle and it didn't smell. And she was upset because it wasn't cheap. <laughs> so I was telling her that I make my own candles. And I do. This part of that self-care is relaxing and setting intentions. Setting intentions to be calm. Now this candle that I have here is my calm candle. Be at peace. And it's infused with essential oils, lavender and sandalwood. And it smells delicious and it is very calming just the fragrance coming out of it so that's part of my self-care I like to light candles <clears throat> while I do my skincare um, I like to play music too but I have all my devices working now so I can't do that um, we're gonna start off today I'm gonna give you a two first so it's kind of like a bonus and um, the first one is a sour cream mask. Now, milk in general contains a lactic acid, and the lactic acid is a gentle and efficient exfoliator. So just um, putting a little milk product on your skin can get rid of all those dry spots. And the thing about sour cream and you know heavy cream anything anything full fat not only does it exfoliate your skin but it moisturizes as well because the fat is in there so that's what we're going to start off with today and after I get this slathered all over my clean face I'm going to um, tell you what the next part is I'm just going to wipe this off because my hands are going to get in there anyway I'm going to put this all over my face. My hands are mm. Oh, and it's nice and cold too, which feels good after you've, you know, washed your face. It kind of wakes you up, especially in the morning. Don't do this at night because this cold will just <laughs> wake you right up and keep you from going to sleep for a while. And we don't want that. Hmm. Now what I usually do, and I'll tell you, whatever you do to your face, you also do to your neck and your decolletage, this area right here between your neck and your breast. Um, because sometimes you tend to get wrinkles here. And when you do things to your face, a lot of the stuff that you do moisturizes. And when you condition your skin, you're less likely to get wrinkles early. I mean, some of us will get them anyway, and some of us, the, some of us because of you know, good genes or genes, different types of genes, not good genes, but they'll get them a little later on. So we, we want to hold off those wrinkles because a lot of us like to show this area, especially in the warm weather, you know. I'm just going to get close to my eyes here. Not too close because I don't want to put it in my eyes. Yeah, my nose and like this area and this area here, I can't seem to keep that dry skin off. And you don't want to um, use an abrasive on your skin too often. So. Gonna get wet anyway. 
and you want to leave this on your skin I'd say anywhere from 10 10 minutes 10 15 minutes and what we're going to do now while this is on is we're going to do another little part oh there it is and we're going to take care of those lips now the first defense to keeping your skin in general hydrated your skin in your body is water I drink plenty of water but sometimes especially in the months when it starts to get a little cooler water is just not enough you know in the summertime you perspire you know the more water you drink the more you perspire and oils come out in your perspiration and that helps keep your skin the topical part moisturized but um yeah you don't really perspire that much when the weather gets cooler So although it's good to always drink water, no matter what time of the year it is, it's also, you know, it's just, just not enough sometimes. So you have to do other things. Now today, I'm going to do a lip mask and using the same sour cream with the lactate acid to get rid of that dry skin on top or help get rid of it anyway I'm gonna add a little honey so we're going to be exfoliating and I told you before honey is a I don't know humescent word I, I don't know how to pronounce it but I'll write the word down and you can google it <laughs> and all that means is that it draws moisture from the air into your skin so that's the moisturizer so we're gonna exfoliate with the sour cream and moisturize with the honey and I'm gonna make a little mask so you mix the honey in the sour cream and I'm just mixing on one side because you're supposed to have equal parts honey and sour cream and I had about a half half a teaspoon of the honey so I'm mixing it in approximately and it tastes good too I'm mixing it in approximately half a teaspoon of the sour cream so we're just gonna put that on our lips mmm I could just eat this <laughs> this is so funny. I was going to make an inappropriate joke. Not that inappropriate. And then what we do is we take a piece of saran wrap. And we put it on. <laughs> we put the saran wrap on to keep it from drying out and just they put and do what it's supposed to do Okay, the 10 minutes is up. And what we're going to do now is take a warm cloth and wipe all this off.
always be very gentle around the eyes. So don't want to pull that skin because that skin is delicate and easy to damage. So you see some of the dead skin coming off on this, <laughs> this white cloth. I would show you, but that would just be gross. Okay. Hmm. Feels so much better. Yeah, and you always wipe up. say that keeps the skin from sagging. I don't know how true it is, but everybody does it, so. Then, while your skin is still damp, I like to put a little oil. Now, usually, I will put coconut oil, and you don't need that much. I'll put coconut oil on, but today I just have a little canola, which is okay, too. You know, I tend to use whatever's in my kitchen if I can eat it <laughs> it can go on my skin yeah someone told me the other day that they had really sensitive skin I have really sensitive skin I know all about that and um, yeah that's been my rule if I can eat it and it doesn't harm me then I can put it on my skin. Okay. Now we're not, the lips feel a lot better. We're not finished with the lips though. This is like an intense lip treatment. So what I'm going to do next is take a vitamin E capsule. Poke a little hole. And in here I have some more canola oil. And um, some sugar and we're gonna scrub the lips with that to get everything that the um, everything that the uh, sour cream didn't get we're gonna get the rest of that dead skin off of there You put the sugar in and you just put enough oil, olive oil, whatever. Today I have canola oil because I don't, I'm out of olive oil. Coconut oil, anything. You put it in. And you make a little paste with the sugar. You have that vitamin E mixed in there. And we're just gonna take your finger. This gets a little crummy, so I put something down underneath. And scrub the lips. Mmm. Tastes good. <laughs> Now, you can do this with a damp, like a baby toothbrush, a soft toothbrush also. But I just like the sugar. Yeah. And it gives you the opportunity to put stuff in it. Like the oil. 
Now, I like using coconut oil, especially on my skin, because they say that that is the closest thing to the natural oils that your body produces. So it absorbs well into the skin and carries whatever you put in there with it. So, I've been hearing lately coconut oil isn't good or whatever, but I tell you, I've been using coconut oil for eons, and um, this just feels so good. You only have to do this for like a minute or two, but, and you don't press really hard. It's like a very gentle touch because the sugar is abrasive. Then after you finish doing that, you just wipe it off. When that's done, you seal it in. Now I'm going to use my lip balm. And if you haven't made any yet, make some. Or just, you know, use a good balm. What I used to use before I started making lip balm is um, Carmax. I love Carmex. And not the one, not the tube, the one that comes in the little pot. That was good stuff. And you seal all your good work. So that's sugar on there. You seal all your good work in. Oh, that was still really smooth. I'm going to just put a little bit more on in case I wipe some off. Now those are some kissable, kissable lips. <laughs> and that's what it's all about. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, you know, treat yourself. Take care of yourself to, you know, have a little beauty bash. Mmm, skin feels so soft. And those lips, mmm. Okay, enough of that. I'm going to leave you now. Don't forget to count your blessings. Be a blessing to somebody else. And be kind to yourself. Take care of your skin. Self-care is very important. Light a candle. Meditate. I like to meditate with my candles because it helps me set my intentions. So I'm going to have a really calm day today. Until next time.